it's interesting because, of course, we've we've seen a big disruption to the story over the last two weeks during the retail frenzy. But really, what we're seeing in the market is a market driven by vaccine hope. And, and so since November the 9th, when we saw the first uh, vaccine successes and that news enter the marketplace, uh, the market has had this huge optimism based on recovery, reopening. Of course, it's not going to be straightforward, but that continues to be the thing that is driving the market. And I think we're now getting back to that same pattern that we were um, before Christmas and in the first couple of weeks of this year. And, And it's key. So now, within expectations in the market, I think we're probably expecting everything to reopen by summer, um, and that may not happen. So I think um, investors need to be nuanced. They need to be selective. Remember, in Europe, we're probably one step ahead. We've identified those mutations. We're seeing that problem with uh, vaccine nationalism. And maybe in the U.S., they're not quite seeing uh, things in in, in such a um, nuanced state as, as we are here in Europe. Rebecca, what we saw last time round as the market was moving aggressively on this recovery theme was that uh, there were fairly large swings in the travel and leisure basket. This week, it feels as though investors might be just dipping the toe in the water, but we're not seeing monumental moves uh, by any means. What's it going to take from the sector? Or what's it going to take from, from governments uh, and uh, advisors for us to see any real appetite for investors for that sector again? I think I think this one is really quite difficult. I mean, it's a relatively small um, part of the market. So if we think about that travel sector, relatively small, possibly more important to the marketplace are, are the people that, that um, make the engines for the aeroplanes. So if you think about the size of the aerospace industry and those very big stocks in there like um, Boeing, British Aerospace, um, they are hanging on... Uh, us returning to travel. So um, I think, you know, it's more than just those travel companies themselves, but it's going to take more from the government. It's going to take in the US as they're starting to, they are um, receiving personal checks, which will obviously um, boost consumer confidence and spending, but we're nowhere near that yet uh, within Europe. Rebecca, can I ask you about uh, Shell and some of these uh, oil majors this morning? Um, We know there's a huge amount of pain here. Shell this morning reporting an 87% fall in uh, fourth quarter uh, profits. But they also at the same time said they want to increase the dividend payout 4% in the first quarter. And we know that there are a lot of investors who are yield hungry and yield starved at this point. But the overlay is concern about stranded assets and, of course, the direction of uh, renewable energy. Is a company like Shell attractive given the dividend commitment or are these companies becoming increasingly uninvestable given what governments are saying about oil and gas? Oh, that's, that's a difficult question. So uh, there is momentum behind these energy, these large energy stocks at the moment. So if you think about what's performed and where the flows have been um, since we've had that vaccine announcement, then it really has been in energy. But if you look forward, as you say, there is that risk of carbon pricing coming in, stranded assets. We're going to focus on this much, much more as the year goes on when we got to COP26 and we hear more about Biden's plans. So there's a lot of news flow going to hit this sector. When it comes to dividends, yes, you're right. These have been a huge dividend earners, um, particularly for the UK um, pension um, fund savers. And, uh, and the fact that they've now had to take those uh, dividends down and will only slowly come back to them, as, as Shell has announced today, I think will make them a lot less attractive going forward. And in the meantime, investors will have been looking at other areas as well. So, for example, they're looking at when dividends will come back in, in the financial area, for example. 